Antichamber is a first-person puzzle game where you are traversing an impossible labyrinth of wormholes that challenge space-time and spatial reasoning. Focusing solely on the world and its mechanics, Antichamber opts out of a story, dialogue, or narration and drops the player in the center antechamber with a timer and a map of teleportation locations. The game has no central conflict or danger, and the only guiding force is the player's will to solve the puzzles of this world. They are never told to go anywhere, but are instead dropped subtle clues and riddles for answering the puzzles. Because there is no danger, and because there is no story or true time limit, there is no basic escape or release from the world. Antichamber is either on or off. If you press escape, you will be ported back to the central antechamber where the game is still running, but the puzzles have reset. At the end of the game, after the credits are complete, it doesn't bring you back to a main menu or back to the main room. The game turns off, because the game is over. There are only two elements which lend themselves to a central narrative. The previously mentioned signs leave riddles that either turn into or begin as lessons that pair with puzzles you've done, leaving sagely advice that dwells on the player as they continue through the game. The other is the evasive black bundle of particles which traverses the labyrinth out of reach until the end of the game, in which you find the thing you've been pursuing happens to be merely another piece of the puzzle. Antichamber is a unity of concepts and puzzle building that culminate into an abstract art piece. The game's only help are subtle tips that indirectly point you to the answer, but could ultimately be works of deceit. The game relishes the fact that you are not where you think you are by pulling the puzzles and concepts in every which direction. The user is constantly being pushed into different modes of thought that seem counterintuitive unless implemented in a new way thus deceiving them from the next puzzle, which could be completely reliant on remembering how to do things the very first time. To best accentuate the execution of the concepts in this game, we must observe the imagery and visual style. Everything is vibrant, and the colors oftentimes reflect and reinforce locations or ideas previously explored as a visual callback. Oftentimes images are reinforced to suggest where we might be or what kind of life exists on the outside. The tool that we use changes colors several times throughout the game, but itself resembles what could be a centrifugal device that is ambiguously powered. The tools and the logic of the world in terms of thermodynamics, reproduction of elements, and gravity are switched and changed all the time to fit the puzzle and once again reinforce that where we are can't be in any possible physical location, but something incessantly changing. To lend some sort of concrete answer to this amorphous puzzle, let us examine the title itself. Antechamber, as its original word, means small room leading into main room. And while the central room definitely leads to the labyrinth, the entire map itself, in keeping seek with the themes presented in the game, seemed to be a precursor to something very different and much, much larger.